today's video i'm going to pretty much take you guys step by step on how to make a wig how to color it install it and slay all in one video i am using these gorgeous bundles from diamond virgin hair company i was really excited to try their hair because i have installed a few um of my clients that actually use this hair and loved it so i was excited to try it out um one thing i was excited about was look at this frontal it's really really big it's like a 13 by 6 frontal which i absolutely love so i have the wavy bundles i have 24 inches all the way up to 18 inches with the matching frontal so here we go you guys let's get into making this okay wig. i am using this mesh cap it has adjustable straps in the back you can get this from your local beauty supply store i will link it below for you guys now here's the key when you take your frontal you see those tabs right there line those up with the right where your ear tabs is if this helps put it on your head and measure it so that you know exactly where it goes because if you don't then your wig is not gonna fit okay making sure that that frontal is pulled all the way forward is key after all the wigs that i have made in my life i still struggle you guys so um yeah so pretty much take some needle thread and sew that down very very flat and um, I like to try mine on afterwards to make sure it fit right because I ain't trying to make a whole wig and then um, Gotta take it off. So yeah, it fit really good So now I am basically sewing down the first bundle bundle which is the 24 inches and as you can see I don't I just kind of lay that track on top of there because first of all the bundle is heavy and I just don't have a lot of, of um, Support here, so I just kind of lay that track on top of that needle or that t-pin just for some support so when I when I sew it to the other side I can go ahead and flip it over I'm not cutting any tracks you guys we're not cutting tracks maybe once I get to the top but I don't think I cut any tracks I think I cut I don't think I cut no tracks y'all mm -hmm. so here's one bundle down 24 inches now we're stepping into 22 inches now I did go ahead and end up using only three bundles. I could not squeeze any more hair on there because one, I didn't want my wig being extra heavy. And two, look how gorgeous that is. So, you know, if you look at it, I really didn't really need that last bundle, which is an 18 inch. Um, the, the webs were sewn pretty close together as you can see. Not too, too far spaced out, so. I think it turned out really, really nice. Look how gorgeous that body wave is. It's absolutely gorgeous. So once you make your wig, go ahead and cut out that excess. I kind of did this off camera, which I apologize, but I'm gonna try to show you guys exactly where I cut it. Basically, you are just cutting away the excess because when you part through your frontal, you don't want to see cap. So wherever that lace is, you wanna make sure you cut it away. We don't wanna see cap, we wanna see scalp. And that's what the lace is for. So that's kind of what it looked like before I cut it off of camera. But just to give you guys a general idea, just cut that away. So look how gorgeous his hair is, you guys. I'm, I was so tempted just to put it on my head and go, but I really wanted to add some color to it. And I'm totally lazy when it comes to doing hair color, especially with 24 inches of hair. But I said, I want this look, so let's go. So I'm using the L'Oreal Excellence High Color. This is pretty much a one-step thing. You basically can apply this color to um, dark hair and it will lift to the desired level that you chose here. So follow the manufacturer's um, directions. I used, I think I used 40 Volume Developer and I used three packs, you guys. Three packs was just enough. I didn't even have anything left and I wasn't short of the hair colors.
this is after I pretty much washed and conditioned it. I'm gonna let my wig air dry. And after that, I'm gonna start plucking and installing it. But I do wanna let you guys know I did already bleach the knots on the wig. And it's pretty much ready to um, be customized. So that's what we're doing right here. Um, taking some sections and just, you know, you know how we do it, you guys. I have a video, I have a separate video for you guys to see as far as how to pluck the hairline on your wigs and your frontals. Okay, so I decided to put some curls in there. You guys, super easy. All you need to do is take a curl of wine and before the, before the curl cools, wrap it around with the flexi rod. That's it. But if y'all want a tutorial, I'll give you a tutorial. So yeah, here's the sun cap method. I had to use makeup, you guys, because I didn't have any, any pantyhose. So yeah, if you want to see my video on how to do the stock and cap method without makeup, go ahead and look at the description box. I will leave a link below or I will have it above so that you guys can click on that. Now the adhesive that I'm using this time is Bold Hold by the Hair, Dare, Hair Diagram. I'm using her products and I actually like it. For me, it lasts me for like a week. Um, the hold is, is pretty good, but I get about a week wear out of it, to be honest, like a week. Um, and I like it because it doesn't really damage my, damage my edges. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I laid it down. I did a little bit of baby hairs, not a lot. Took them curls out and baby, ooh, honey. Mm, mm. I've gotten so many compliments on this hair color, you guys. People love this hair color. And it was literally just a one step. I didn't have to go through and bleach the hair and then put, you know, deposit color on top. It was literally throw the color on, boom, you got your color. So I found these really cute colored pins, um, bobby pins from Meyer. They were on clearance, so I said, ooh, I'm about to use these. So I just kind of put them in, jazz up the hair a little bit. And yeah, I love it. This hair is gorgeous, okay? The bundles are very, very soft and I just really like the quality of it. So let's get into the removal process. It's been about almost two weeks and this stuff really hurts. Like you can see it sliding back. It's still on there pretty good, but it just is uncomfortable. Like it's pulling back and I can feel the cap sliding back. So that's what's causing irritation. So I'm gonna take these alcohol swabs, and I like these, they're just easier. You don't have to really make a big mess with alcohol. And I'm just cleaning up the hairline. Now when you're removing your units, you guys, make sure that you take your time. Do not pull, do not tug. Just take your time and get the product off. And then when it's ready to come off, it will slide right off. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and use some more remover because that alcohol isn't getting it up. I will link this below for you guys so that you can check it out. This is basically a adhesive remover. I'm going to just pin my hair back and spray it on there. You need to let this sit for like two minutes and rub it in and just let it work. And once that two minutes is up, you should be able to slide it off of your, it should, it should literally just slide right off. So rub it in take your time i cannot stress that enough you guys i am very impatient because i feel like that cap was just pulling my edges back like i could feel it so i was really tugging and pulling but as you can see right here see how it's still stuck a little bit because i did go back in and use some tape on the sides and that tape is really like it is not trying to come up so take your time don't be impatient and just slowly work it through and it should come right off with ease. So right now I'm pulling it off the cap, not my scalp, it was on the cap right there on the side. And voila, it comes right off with ease. So now I'm going to remove this. You guys, I do have a video showing you how to do the sign cap method. It's not my go-to method. I don't like, I don't, honestly, I don't like doing this to be honest with you. Mainly because I feel like the stocking cap method is really sitting on your edges. And when, you know, over time it's gonna like, Cool, but I don't know it's just it just was uncomfortable for me so um, I'm going in with some more remover just to get it off now mind you I use got to be glue with this so this stuff is like stuck like glue I use a got to be glue um, freezing spray to lay my stocking cap down so 
um, yeah, you guys, just work it through and pull it off. And then you will be good to go. You take some um, alcohol or whatever you're going to use to clean off your hairline. But as you can see, once I pull it off, there's no hair on the cap or anything like that. My edges, the little edges I got, honey, are still there, which is good. So that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. I will link all of everything I talked about in this video so that you guys can check it out as far as products and the hair. I will leave all that in the description box. And thank you guys for joining me. I will talk to you in the next.